Today is Monday, December 21st, 2020. We're going to read Jude, the book of Jude. There's only one chapter in the book of Jude. So here we go. But first, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Jude, Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ and brother of James, to them that are sanctified by God the Father and preserved in Jesus Christ and called, mercy unto you and peace and love be multiplied. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that ye should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. Wow. For there are certain men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation, ungodly men, turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness and denying the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. I will therefore put you in remembrance, though ye once knew this, how that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, Afterward destroyed them that believed not. You get this? Verse, verse 5. I'm going to read that again. That's very important in these last days. I will therefore put you in remembrance. Though ye once knew this. How that the Lord having saved the people out of the land of Egypt. Afterward destroyed them that believed not. So in other words. Or my understanding of this is, it doesn't matter if you got saved when you were a kid, or if you got saved, if you do not believe, if you're living for this world today, right now, this second, you will be destroyed, okay? He destroyed his, quote, chosen people, unquote. Doesn't matter to him. You believe not, you will be destroyed. Period. Verse 6. And the angels, which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he hath reserved in everlasting chains under darkness, under unto the judgment of the great day. Okay? So here you go. All those angels, which, le which chose Lucifer, Satan... They, wow. Wow. Oh, wow. I got the Holy Ghost when I read that because I, I just got some discernment on that. Oh, wow. Okay. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner are giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh are set forth an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Likewise also these filthy dreamers defile the flesh, despise dominion, and speak evil of dignities. Y'all getting that? Can you say LGBTQ? Yeah. It doesn't matter whether you have some of these people in your family. You need to denounce them. You need to warn them that their eternal soul is on the line because... They've they've gone at they they've gone after strange flesh. They, so they're set forth as, as at, for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Okay, there's no other. There is no other way. They will be destroyed. They know better. You can't tell me that you're born a homosexual. Okay, you're not born another gender. 
You are not, period. That is the devil, period. And it's a choice that people make. It is not something that you're born with. It, that is baloney. That is, you've been brainwashed by Beelzebub. For all that matter, I can say, oh, I was born uh, loving drugs. Okay, so then therefore I could just go on being a drug addict. I could just go on. Once I know better, once once the Lord delivered me from all of that unrighteousness, um, knowing what I, there, I mean, yeah, no. When I was using drugs, I knew that it was wrong. When you are engaging in homosexual activity, you know that it is wrong because all of us, every human being is made in the image of God. We all have the, the moral compass inside of us. We choose to not follow it. That may, say, that may seem a little rough, but it's true. Okay. Verse 8. Likewise also, these filthy dreamers defile the flesh. Yeah, engaging in homosexual behavior defiles the flesh. Despise dominion and speak evil of dignities. Yet Michael, the archangel, when contending with the devil, he disputed about the body of Moses, durst not bring against him a railing accusation, but said, The Lord rebuke thee. Wow. But, but these speak evil of those things which they know not, but what they know naturally as brute beasts, in those things they corrupt themselves. Woe unto them, for they have gone in the way of Cain and ran greedily after the error of Balaam for reward and perished in the gainsaying of Kor. These are spots in your feast of charity when they feast with you, feeding themselves without fear. Oh, clouds they are without water, carried about of winds, trees whose fruit withereth without fruit, twice dead, plucked up by the roots. Raging waves of the sea, foaming out of their own shame. Wandering stars, to whom is reserved the blackness of darkness forever. Wow. So, look. In other words, don't feed, don't sit down to meet with these people. Let them go on about their, 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 their choices themselves. We are not... To co-mingle with these wicked, evil people. And in, in a little while, uh, maybe when I'm driving to town, I'll, I'll talk to you about an experience I had yesterday. Good Lord Almighty, help me. Wow, that was powerful. I'm going to read verses 12 and 13 again. These are spots in your feast of charity. When they feast with you, feeding themselves without fear, clouds they are without water, carried about of winds, Trees whose fruit withereth without fruit, twice dead, plucked up by the roots. Raging waves of sea, foaming out of their own shame. Wandering stars, to whom is reserved the blackness of darkness forever. Wow. And Enoch also, the seventh from Adam, prophesied of these, saying, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousands of his saints to execute judgment upon all, and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds which they have ungodly committed, and of all their hard speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. These are murmurers, complainers, walking after their own lust, and their mouth speaketh great swelling words, having men's persons in admiration because of advantage. But, beloved, remember ye the words which, are sp which were spoken before, of the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ. How that they told you there should be mockers in the last time. Who should walk after their own ungodly lust. These be they who separate themselves sensual. Having not the spirit. But ye beloved. Building up yourselves on the most holy faith. Praying in the Holy Ghost. Keep yourselves in the love of God. Looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. And if some have compassion, making a difference, and others, save with fear, pulling them out of the fire, hating even the garment spotted by the flesh. Wow. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling, and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy, to the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. 
Amen. Wow, I hope you got that. Jesus is coming. Spread the word.